Three D audio is gonna Sony be the world the best. Best. I'm pretty sure Tech Mobile has a speed run. Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to another day, another minute, another second, another timeline, another uh, everything of the mostly podcast. Now I've recorded maybe like fifty podcasts that I have not uploaded any this week that I haven't been uh, here. And I've, I've, I've explained why I haven't been hearing those other podcasts. Uh, the short answer is I had dental surgery a while back and I had to recuperate from that. And then work was crazy, crazy busy for like a whole week. And I didn't get the stream over the weekend because like other stuff like football season has started. Me and the guys of the Most Elite family have been watching football and being disappointed in the Eagles and everything. And so I have not record. I have not uploaded. I, I have recorded. I've recorded tons of them. Some of them I don't sound so good because my mouth. Like I tried to do it right after the surgery, and it just, it just wasn't a thing that could happen. So, I, uh, I am not doing that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do that. So now I'm here. Uh, pump for you on it. Now I'm here and I'm back after. Uh, healing properly and you know everything so I, I i talked about in these in these podcasts i talked about the upcoming events like they were upcoming when i talked about them but they've already passed now tokyo game show has happened right dc fandom hasn't happened yet so we're gonna do that the, the day of but tokyo game show has happened and there was a eh, it's a lot of reveals you know not a super not new games so to speak i mean there were some new games but not like not what everybody was expecting. Like, when I saw Konami would be at the Tokyo Game Show, the first thing I thought was, well, are they finally, finally, finally bringing back Silent Hill? Like, are we getting another Silent Hill? Because, I mean, how long has it been? Down, I think with Downpour, the last one, I think that's a 360 title. That was many years ago. And that sucks, you know? And I mean, not that Downpour doesn't suck, but, well, depending on who you ask. I mean, it is a weaker entry in the silent hill series but i don't know if it sucks i don't know if that's fair uh i think that's the cool thing about having multiple titles in your catalog you can you know instead of just saying something is bad you can just be like well this entry in a series didn't really hit the same heights as other entries in a series right you can say stuff like that and it, it's more political, you know, it's more uh, easier to digest to fans. Like if there's a downpour fan, fan out there, they would take that over saying downpour is fucking dog shit. Now, I mean, maybe there's a downpour fan out there who agrees that it's dog shit. Like I do like my favorite movie of all time is Dude, Where's My Car? It's a terrible movie. It's not good. It's not even funny, really. But I just love it. You know, I, I watched it at that time. But in, in my life, it, I mean, I wasn't a stoner enough. I've never been a stoner, but I could have relate to the humor. It's pretty funny stuff. And, you know, going back to it and watching it now, it's, I still think it, you know, holds up. It's a lot of subtle stuff in it that, you know, so this is me defending my favorite movie. But, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's probably a Downpour fan out there who's like, well, you know, Downpour, it was more maybe, maybe it was a little more cerebral. Even though Silent Hill is all cerebral, it's all fucking in your head, right? But, uh, like, I don't know. That's just me the saying that there's probably a fan who thinks it's bad, but appreciates maybe some of the direction that it took, right? That's fair. That's a fair thing, I think, right? And this podcast doesn't have a uh, topic. I'm just saying the Tokyo Game Show came out. It, well, well, I mean, guys, we're talking about the Tokyo Game Show. Konami was there, but there was no Silent Hill or Metal Gear Solid, which everybody assumed would be there. And uh, it wasn't. Same thing for Capcom. Capcom only showed off Rise stuff. The entire presentation. It's like an hour of Monster Hunter Rise. Which nobody in my friend group cares about because none of them have Switches. I like, I'm the only one, basically, in the friend group with a Switch who owns Rise. You know? But everyone's so fucking caught up on World. I, I can't... Me and uh, Philly, Philly Mac, we went over... Uh, you know, World's Capcom's highest selling title of all time. Like, can you believe 17 million point nine units? Like it beat everything. Resident Evil 7, 8, 2 remake, fucking Devil May Cry, 
Three remake, the regular three, regular two. What the hell is that? Street Fighter Five? Like it just beat all these games for Capcom. It's their most successful title of all time. And I I'm flabbergasted because I don't really like World. I think it's too easy. But I think that was the point of it. It was too easy. They made it so everybody, a Western audience, could easily digest it. It's not all this stuff that you gotta know and learn and find out. And like it. Pardon me again. I feel like that's just them thinking we're dummies. Yeah, rightfully so. I mean, right? Am I getting who? Who are we getting here? We're dummies. But I just, I, it's it's a real bummer for me because, you know, there's so much that just wasn't in World. And everyone lauds it as like this fucking masterpiece of Monster Hunter. And I'm like, no, it's not a masterpiece of Monster Hunter. It's an all right game. And it's missing some fucking stuff that all, most of the previous games, at least the past four, had. You know, Rise came back, bring that shit back, kinda. You know, you got the superpowers back, got all the intricacies back, but I don't know. Rise is a weaker game because its console is limited to the Switch, and then the PC is coming. But its framework will still be there. It won't look any better. I'm sure there'll be some mods to make it look slightly better, but, you know, whatever, right? And it's just that if, if you were, like my friend Philly Mac, he's never played Monster Hunter. His first Monster Hunter was Monster Hunter World. And if your first Monster Hunter was Monster Hunter World, and then you look at a game like Double Cross or Rise, uh, you'd be like, wow, this looks really bad. And it's like, yeah, but this is how they always looked, right? Like, they've always looked like this. World was a, such a divergent game. Like, And he argues that they should do more of that. I was like, they don't need to. They've got the money. They've got the success and the sales. Now they're going back to what, you know, the the real fans. Uh, I don't want to say real fans. What what their series fans like? Because world world created a lot of world fans. I don't think it created Monster Hunter fans because, as I said, I'm the only person who owns a Switch and has Rise, and all of the Most Elite family loved World. Everyone played it, but no one's played Rise except myself, and I think maybe Nishi. I think she has it. So I'm like, wow. Um, yeah, it's like the MCU thing. It cre the MCU created movie fans, but like these people don't go out and buy the comics. Like these people don't go out and play the video games, or listen to the audiobook, audiobooks, or whatever, or even watch the fucking cartoons. You know what I mean? These aren't the same. These are not the same audiences. So I think World is an example of that. Where World is not the same audience as Rise. Oh, hold on a second, guys. Be right back. All right, my uh, podcast family, I have no idea where I left off. Like, none. I think I was talking about Tokyo Game Show. I think. <laughs> you see how easy that happens? I mean, for you, it was a moment, but it was a long time for me. I had to make some business calls, and I had to uh, call a doctor. I have a lot of doctors. But now that I have health insurance, like, for the longest time, I didn't have health insurance. So now that I have health insurance, I've been, like, going wacky and getting everything that can be done, done. You know, while I have it. Yeah, you know, that's the point of having not going to use it. So I got the mouth surgery, and then they're going to look into doing more. I got tons of mouth surgery into next year. Like, my mouth is, like, the worst part of my my body, which is funny because I use it all the time to do this and to just communicate. So, <laughs> isn't it awesome? Anyway, Tokyo Game Show, I think, we, uh, we left off there. Man, I, I really can't remember what I was talking about, Silent Hill, and we did, uh, Doers my car, but that was sort of a tangent, darn, yeah, it's the, it's the problem, it's the, it's the risk we run, we, we, the risk we run, dude, that's a tongue twister, and if anybody out there can send me audio, or post in the comments, the risk we run, the risk we run, five times fast, you know, be my favorite person. Uh, so yeah, um, I have no idea where I left off, but we are talking about the Tokyo Game Show. We're just hanging out. We got, we got, uh, what did they really, what did they show? I mean, aside from Capcom, oh, Capcom, we're talking about Monster Hunter. Capcom's, we were talking about Monster Hunter World and the fans. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so Capcom's presentation was only Monster Hunter Rise. They were introducing Sunbreak, which is their new mainline DLC. They have a crossover with Ghost, Ghost and Goblins, which, you know, Arthur's armor and stuff in the game, and a spear. Pretty cool. 
Konami. I honestly don't remember what they did. The Tokyo Game Show was really weird. It wasn't like how I expected it to be. Probably because it was online. Square Enix showed off for Spoken's trailer again. They also showed off uh, the prequel Final Fantasy game that I'm interested in, the Origin one, the Heroes of Light Origin, which is pretty cool. Uh, they also showed off another Final Fantasy VII spinoff for the phone called Soldiers, which is, you know, pretty cool too. I don't use mobile. I'm not a mobile gamer. I use PC mostly in console when, when a game that comes out on it. So, yeah, I don't I don't care about the Soldiers one so much. It's just cool to see. Yeah, they know where the money is. The Final Fantasy yeah, uni- seven universe is pretty... It's a cash cow, kind of, you know. So, but yeah, I mean, honestly... I guess I could pull out. Let's pull it up. Let's 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 actually talk about it because I don't want. I don't want to like, you know, give it short sh- short shrift. Short is that is it short shrift? Is that what it's called? I don't know what it's called. Stranger of Paradise. That's the one. The Final Fantasy Origins. And I think, I think it might be a good. John. I think Demo Two is coming out. Uh. Well, Demo 2 is out, and it's available until October 11th. So I think we'll download Demo 2, maybe upload it to the channel. Maybe we'll play Stranger Stranger Paradise Demo 2. Turn the PS5 on. What do you think of that? You know? Forspoken, yeah, they did the Magic Parkour system announcement. Uh, I'm really... I want to play that game. Firstly, because its sense of movement and momentum look stellar. Like the way you bound and leap from place to place. And it just feels kinetic. Like, I love that. I love the kinetic. I love kin- kin- kinetic motion in games. Like, that mirror's edge and stuff like that. I love, like, feeling like I'm moving. Most games don't really pull it off so good. But that one looks like it, it's going to feel. Like you're going to feel that momentum. And I, that's what I, I love that. So that looks really interesting. And like the the world set, it's a Square Enix world, like Athia. And it's like monsters and dragons. And there's like this cool lady with this goblet head thing who has magic powers. I mean, I don't know. I mean, but it's also weird and medieval. So, you know, it's an adventure game. Like, what did they say? The, the, the four four components of an adventure movie. What I think of just of an adventure is a historical setting. So like this game is like it's like weird and medieval there's castles right so we got the historical setting uh a quest for a quest for an object mostly magic in nature right danger and one other thing i i can't remember the fourth thing but this game checks all the boxes so i do think it's going to be pretty sweet and you get to play as a a a, a, a woman one and a person of color, too, which is if you listen to my last podcast about it, you know, how, why I was hyped for Spider-Man, and you get to be Miles, is because all of our heroes aren't just straight, like, white men. Just, that's why I like Returnal. You know, it's an older white woman, Kena, Bridge of Spirits, a young Asian girl. Like, this shit, it matters. And as much as people don't want to believe it matters, it does. You know, so I'm super excited to play as a, a, a woman and who has brown skin. That's really awesome. Maybe a little girl who looks like that can look up to her and want to be a hero one day. That stuff is important. So, <clears throat> next game is a. Uh... Oh man, uh, Shin Megami Tensei Dev- Shin Megami Tensei Five was shown off, but that's this year. That's that's November. So, I mean, that's going to be on the Switch. I don't know if it's going to be on PC. Like, I'm worried that if I buy it on the Switch. A few months later, it's going to be like, oh, man, PC. And I'm like, oh, I got to start off. Like, Bravely Default did that to me. I had Bravely Default 2. And I'm super far in the game. I got almost every class maxed out. And, like, it's on PC now. I'm like, what? So, now I'm like, do I want to start over? Man, I've done so much. So, I, I, I don't know, guys. I'm I'm concerned that this, that Shin Megami Tensei is going to bamboozle me. I'm going to buy it on the Switch. But, yeah, this is the only place you can play. And then six months down the line. Hey man, did you know it's on the PC now? And I'm like, oh, is it? And then I'll feel compelled to get it and do everything again. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII: The First Soldier. Yeah, we talked about that. I don't. I'm not an iOS gamer, or or Android gamer, so it doesn't matter to me. You know, Atelier Sophie got another game. Getting is getting another game. 
That's cool. The Atelier series has been going on for super, super long. Uh, Sega has an RPG called Sin Chronicle, but again, it's mobile. And uh, I, I don't know about that. All right, Square Enix is releasing a RPG, Dungeon Encounters. I mean, it's a dungeon mapping game. If anybody who's played like Etrian Odyssey, think of that, but top down. So, Monster Hunter Rise is another one. It's coming to Steam January 22nd. We talked about that earlier on PC. So, maybe when that comes to PC, the gang will actually play. They don't have Switches, but when it comes to PC, you know, those, you know, we'll all play together, you know? Hopefully. I don't know. Gungrave is getting a new game. They've shut it off so many times now, and I'm just wondering where it is. Gore. Um, Tangle Gameworks, now owned by Microsoft because they were part of Bethesda. They are making a new game, even though they're 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 finishing Ghostwire Tokyo. Shinji Mikami, he's uh, he talked about that. Uh, John Jonas, the director of Evil Within Two. It's hard at work on a new game. So that that means we're probably... If it's not Evil Within 3, which I don't think it is, it's probably a new series horror game. They like, like I like that they stick to the horror. It's important to me. I don't know, man. I I hope... I hope all these things, like, pay off. I hope they're not all just duds. I, I've been feeling like we've been having years of duds lately. Like, games just aren't... They just... I don't know. What do I know? I'm just some guy talking at home. Lots of games, though. Lots of games, guys, to, to digest. I hope they're good. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the DC Fandom event. You know, Tokyo Game Show really had just... They, they, they weren't many game announcements like we expect from like the Game Awards or something like that. It was really just presentations with, uh, around one game. Pretty much every, every, every one of the presentations were around one game. And I'm not upset about that. It just, you know, I thought it would be more more trailer-centric so I could have more to talk about. Anyway, that's our time this week, guys. Thank you again for listening, as always, and following and subscribing. And even if you don't, thank you anyway. We'll see you next episode, which will be very soon. I'm going to upload this one today. This is today. Whenever you're listening to it, that was the day. <laughs> right? But, yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.